Today, I'm going to teach you how to play a very famous Georgian song called Suliko. So, Suliko was originally a poem written by Akaki Tseretelli, and then it was set to music by the Georgian composer uh, Sulhan Tsinsadze. Since then, it's been translated into many different languages and performed by many groups all over the world. It's a very simple song to play in terms of the chord progression. Um, it only really uses three chords. It sounds really nice with a lot of different voices and um, played really slowly in like a choir. Um, but I want to show you how I play it on the panduri. So before we begin, as always, let's make sure that our panduri is in tune. To play Suliko, we use three chords. C major, F major, and G major. I also use G7, and I use uh, an inversion of G major up here. To play C major, press down on the third fret of all three strings. C major sounds like this. To play F major, press on the third fret of the lowest sounding string, the fourth fret of the middle string, and the fifth fret of the last string. F major sounds like this. To play G major, press down on the second fret of the lowest sounding string, first fret of the middle string, and the third fret of the last string. G major should sound like this. I also use a G7 chord, um, and I play that like this. Uh, almost the same as the G major chord, so 2nd fret on the lowest sounding string, 1st fret on the middle string, and 1st fret on the last string, instead of 3rd fret on the last string. So G7 should sound like this. So in addition to G7, I also play G major on a higher position, um, and that's played on the 5th fret of the lowest string, 6th fret of the middle string, and 7th fret on the last string. So this G major uh, should sound like this. Alright, so that's all the chords. So now for the strumming pattern. Suliko is in 4-4 four, four time, which is different from a lot of folk uh, Georgian music. So the strumming pattern that I use goes like this. I use that strumming pattern throughout the whole song. So now let me show you how the song works. So in the first line you play C major with one strumming pattern, then you play F major with one strumming pattern, and then you play C major again twice. Um, on the second line you play G major um, with one strumming pattern, G7 once, and then back to C twice. <laughs> On the third line, first you play F major for two strumming patterns, then you play G for half a pattern, F for half a pattern, and then back to C for one pattern. And this is the line where I use the G in the higher position. <laughs> last line, you play F for half a pattern, C for half a pattern, G for half a pattern, G7 for half a pattern, and then C for two patterns to finish up the verse. And then just like in all traditional Georgian music, you repeat the last two lines. So that's it. That's the entire song. Um, you just gotta apply the same chord progressions and uh, patterns to the rest of the words. Suliko is a great song to learn. Um, everybody knows it, and if you play it for people, um, everyone will join in. So uh, good luck, and until next time, throw a beat.